may do again for transparency uh, let me see how, how long are we into this I'm going to okay, so we're nine minutes so I'll probably get us to the other one but when I get to the bottom of Mount Amunam I'm literally probably gonna start a fresh new video so depending on where this cuts out either way just handling this very well we've again only had a couple of situations with bikers the first one it went around very closely I think it was really there was a lot of turn back so we had two bikers so it was just like kind of trailing after them for a while and I think you know again here's a biker as well so it's moving back into its lane but there was a biker coming or two bikers in front of me and they were obviously it was not it, I didn't know when it was gonna go around but ultimately you know I didn't want them to think that I was gonna like stalk them or something so I just disengaged and went over very very windy day thankfully those things are all just little brush pretty good guys I mean it doesn't really get much better than this I know a lot of uh, a lot of the Europe followers have been asking for you know one lane roads each way but this is pretty good lapse yesterday and some of you were like yeah I like the normal pace of video that you typically do um, I was thinking of like hey let me just speed it up I mean I know maybe that's just better for shorter shorter drives or maybe longer drives and, but that was um, kind of fun for me to just have it do a time lapse okay up here we have a biker coming slow it down around that turn. I felt like it was going a little bit fast. Um, here we are going over. So I'll speed it up again. Um, but yeah, we just passed a crosswalk and now we're starting to continue to climb uphill. knew to, that we had the right away so that's cool
this was actually me driving, I don't know if I would actually be going that much faster, maybe hitting 30, you know, 35. Again, this is a Model X, so it's not like you're gonna be flying up these streets, kind of like maybe more so in a Model 3, but either way, the important thing is to be feeding the system. Feeding the, um, all that, those user miles, right, for FSD beta. I have noticed that there's a couple other people that I've seen get FSD, so that's exciting. Now it's starting to move out more and more to more people, so um, who knows what they'll, what they'll do. Maybe, maybe we'll get to a point where, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they will release it in uh, end of December. That's up to them. I have no idea what the exact date would be or if it's going to get pushed out, but either way, it's it's getting there. Um, again, it's beta. There's still things you need to do, but I think the, the biggest thing is on a mass release, is everyone going to treat it with the same uh, cautious driving as the, be the beta testers, right? The beta testers were all um, picked uh, for whatever factors. And at least from all the ones that I've seen, you know, I, I know they're using tons of caution. This is beta, this is not full autonomy 5. 